This is called The Double Hour and Dark Girls in a Police Uniform. <laughs> War does the damnedest things to a woman, but if you are lucky enough to be a few shades darker than a paper bag, they think of you as half man anyway, and you get to walk a beat at 3 o'clock in the morning all by your lonesome. The funny thing is, though, you start to feel like an angel of cool water and cool wind walking down the bluest streets in Norfolk, an alchemy of red. But you being there don't sit well with those Virginia boys and things start to stink in your name for a time. You walk outside and instead of your head turning, the world starts turning around like you and you like a camera in one of those horror movies. Instead of kicking the devils behind, you find that you are emptying city council's chamber pots. In the academy, things promised to be apocalyptic. God was on our side. We had the name of righteousness tattooed on our gut signed by the White House. A treatise of war on drugs. We may not have anything to live for, but we damn sure learned what to die for so that our families could eat. Nothing but fragments of time created in this green beast, feasting on our post feminine selves, running around with broken wombs and hips. Uh, this is called About Her, Mother. I am this asylum of measures. Measures by which she denies her goodness. Measures by what she denies herself. As unexplored as I am external, my internal self is stirred by her. Where in the highest point of things, not seen, become real in her in her search for the personal character of God is bound to the roots of my character by wood and nail.